hello out there welcome to this tutorial on developing your lesson of microsoft powerpoint this is part one of this tutorial this is an introductory video remember to subscribe to this channel uninab it center for more videos also like and share this video in this tutorial we want to look at how you can use microsoft powerpoint to develop your lessons to teach any subject although we are going to focus on mathematics and we will also let you look at how you can expand it to other subjects it will be surprising that it is not very easy to use it to teach mathematics that is if it is difficult or if you have it in your mind that it is difficult to teach mathematics then the idea now will be simple for other subjects so let's go okay this is the interface of microsoft powerpoint if you load it this interface is representing the 2016 version of the microsoft powerpoint of course you know microsoft powerpoint has different versions so if you are using a lower version or the latest version of 2019 you are still in order the features we are going to be using is not going to be difficult for you to locate in other versions so now this is the first slide if you are familiar with microsoft powerpoint this is the first slide we have here and this is the default slide when you load microsoft powerpoint we are not interested in this layout so this layout is the title layout so we are going to change it we change it from this layout here slide layout you can see this is title slide and uh, also this is the title and content if you are developing for the normal presentation maybe you need this title slide and title and content but for the purpose of this tutorial i am going to use title only and this title only will help me introduce the topic i want to teach of course it is mathematics as stated earlier you don't need to write mathematics there what i need is just the title now it says click to add title then i now click if the cursor is placed inside the text box i now type for instance addition of whole numbers now i have this if you look at this um i want to make it center align so you have two options either you click on the side of the text box or you click on the text then you go to the alignment group here which is on the paragraph uh, group you select the center align or you press ctrl e so i click center it centralizes the whole phrase then i go to i want to make it a different color to make it a different color i come to the font group here and select this font color button i click i am selecting blue for your information you can have more colors by clicking these more colors you can have this standard and this is custom so i love using this standard and this uh, dark blue i click ok then i can also make it a uh, bold if i feel the size of the text is too big or too small i can increase the size here you can increase to 48 60 or i reduce it to 32 reducing it to 32 will be too small let me have it as 54 and uh, also you can still change the font face here i have calibri light 
I click on the arrow, I have more options. So if I'm interested in a particular font face, I can just type it like Times New Roman. I type T I and the Times New Roman appears. Can just press enter and I have the text in Times New Roman. So with this Times New Roman, I can now go ahead to start the content of my slide, the main content. This is just the title. And before then, we can animate this. So we go to the animations tab, click on the animations tab. I want to add the entrance animation. So to add entrance animation, I click to, I click add animation. It displays, these are the few ones displayed for entrance, the few one for emphasis. If you want more of entrance, emphasis exit and motion parts you come down here so i click on more entrance effect so these here they are so you scroll up and down as you click on each it displays this is dissolve this is diamond fly in plus so I, uh, I love using this dissolve in. So I click the dissolve in and select OK. So I have applied animation to this. I go back to the home tab. Now I go fully into the body of the slide. That is the actual content I want to deliver to the audience. So now I have to create a text box. And we have two ways of creating the text box for now let's just go straight to one place where you can get your text box so you on the home tab here you come to the drawing group here is the text box you click on the text box my arrow changes then you now hold down the left button and drag to draw your text box i have my text box here then i can first tell my student this is example one so having gotten the text box and the text inside the text box you can control the color the size the font face the boldness if you want to make it italic if you want to make it a small letter if you want to make it capital letter if you want to do a lot of other things there so you do that from the font group here i want to increase the font size to 28 i see make it a black color this time again i want to make it times new roman i have it times new roman so now before i go further i have to animate it because by implication when you introduce the topic addition of whole numbers they are not expect to see everything in your slide at the same time they are meant to be coming one after the other and the power to do that is animations so that is just it the power of using microsoft powerpoint to teach is on creating text box for every content you want to animate at a particular time so we go back to animation tab go to add animation go to more entrance effects i said i love using dissolve in the, there are other ones explore them and uh, you fall in love with a particular one so i select ok there so i now have two animations this one comes first followed by this then the next content the next content now is the numbers to be added so instead of me going to create another text box in order to make life easier for us i already have this text box with the font size the font name sorry let me make it bold so i have made it bold i don't need to 
create another text box again where i will change the font size the font name add animation so i'll just copy this or duplicate this i duplicate so after duplicating i separate it from the first one then i can now add my new content so just click inside the text box highlight everything and tell them it is 23 plus 35 so that is for example one you can even make it a b c so let's make it a example one then b i duplicate again to give me 41 plus 27 i change it to b then duplicate this again i name it c this time around let me make it larger number 67 plus 46 so let's play this show so that you see how fantastic we are doing so you come here and click slide show here is the empty board when you click your title comes up when you click again your example one comes up you click again you have your first example one a click one b click one c let me inform you that you can control this entrance effect in such a way that it is only one click that will bring the a b and c even though they have different animations so do we go back to animations and uh, you click the first the text box you want it to follow immediately after example one so you come on this timing group of the animations tab click on the on click you see after previous when you click after previous meaning it will come after this then you click on this after previous you may cut make it with previous so after previous so that when you go to the slide show now you click the first one that is the title then example one and you see the follow so now we go to see how we can solve this so to solve this again i just need again to duplicate the example one so that i will now start the solution when i start the solution of a so i start the solution of uh, a to be equal to i copy this again i duplicate this again then this is i'm going to make it in such a way that it should be tens and uh, units so if i have it tens and units then i will make them see that it is the tens under the tens and the units under the units make them see that the tens digit there is two so i place the text box under two Then duplicate that again i have it as i have it as a three so i have three there then here i will place so i now say plus 
that's plus 35 so here I just need to just copy this this is how simple it is simple and easy so I'll now make this one to see it is 5 and this one is 3 now you need to draw the lines so drawing the lines you go back to home tab again still on the drawing group where you pick the text box you click on line then you draw the line the way you draw the text box is the same way you draw the line so now let's go back to this assuming i have it a bit slanted i have this a bit slanted you come back to the format group on this format group you can make it perfectly horizontal by clicking this to zero you reduce this to zero you see that it is perfectly horizontal and this is too long i can reduce the width so by clicking the down arrow i have it there and the line is too tiny i can come to this shape style and select shape outline the shape outline weight i love using two one quarter point and i want to change the color to black i click the same shape outline and select black remember we have to animate this and for lines i love using wipe i click on wipe and if you look at it it goes up i want it to come from left to the right so i come to these effect options i click and this is from left to right you see it now and then i have to duplicate it again ctrl d will help you duplicate then reposition it in line with the first one so from here I have it there then you now tell them 2 plus 5 gives a 7 so you put the 7 there you are preparing your lesson you are going to see the beauty of everything when we are done and we are this is 7 the same way this is 5 then you place it where it is meant to be placed and then you are done with solution of uh, example 1a don't be surprised is this how we are going to be doing all 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 no calm down then we let's do the slideshow now you click on the slideshow you press you click to get the title click again to get the example one a b and c then click again to get the solution for the first example here we are going to arrange it in a tabular form this is the tens and the unit okay for 23 the tens is two and the unit is three sorry this is three and uh, this becomes eight okay mistake is allowed it's not a crime so we go back now so we have it here now we have a uh, 35 three comes under that is plus we now have our plus coming in remember then your three is coming under two five comes under eight then you draw your lines wow then you tell them three plus five is what eight so you click the eight comes up two plus three is what five and you click the five comes in now let's continue now to get b and c which is very simple all you just need to do if you like you can 
exit this after solving a you can say okay you are cleaning a but how do you do that instead of saying okay exit this or this or you may still make it on one slide let's at this point make it on one slide if you make it on one slide i have highlighted all i go to home tab and select duplicate i've duplicated them i take it here i edit everything to the content of b this is how easier the whole thing is remember this is going to change to four and this one will change to one this one will change to two this will change to seven and luckily one plus seven will still give us eight then four plus two will now give us a six we change this one to six let me finish everything before we animate it and you see the wonder of what we have done duplicate again you bring it here this is oh i can even say okay a b uh, i love arranging my work on straight lines yes i have it then in this case let me make this one a b i cut and paste again so that the animation will take effect with the cut pane with the cutting and pasting i change this to c here i have a six and this is seven and under here i have four four and six so at the same time i will change the entire content of this c to c so i have 64 plus 46 this time around by the time you are adding you let them see that 7 plus 6 is 13 so they are writing 3 here and they carry 1 so you can place that 1 under when you place the 1 under then by the time you are now adding this which is 10 plus the 1 you are carrying 11 you can now put your 11 here i've copied that i have my 11 and uh, you position it we're done preparing the slide for example one what you just need you go to the slideshow you click your title comes up you click your example one a b and c comes up you click again you have the solution this is 10 unit this is two this is three plus three five draw your lines the first you add from the unit column this is this plus this you have your a this plus this you have your five then you are done with a you go to b so tens unit again four one two seven you draw your lines again this plus this is eight this plus this is six then you go to c so you have it this 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 click click this plus this is 13 you write three you carry one to the tens digit this plus this 10 plus this 11 and uh, we are done sorry we just need to correct something we put our equality sign here we put your equality sign there oh sorry this is end you put your equality sign there and we are done for your information if you are going to continue with the second slide so you come here right click and select duplicate slide when you duplicate slide of course you don't need to animate this thing again you can just come to the animations 
click on the number to that effect and press delete from your keyboard and uh, this your example two now you can now say it should come with previous then you now change it to example two from there you can begin to change the content 30 45 plus 13 and the same thing you edit this so that when you go to the slide show here you see the example two coming in then the same thing by then you would have edited all these to take the content of example two if there is need for you to delete some completely and bring in another one assuming this is here something like this something like this is example 2b you can delete the entire this and copy this paste it here so that you just need to add the effect and that's all please check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get more videos on this tutorial until we come your way again goodbye